Good morning, Cedar Park High School. It's Wednesday, February 6th, and it's an A-Day. I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. And the WolfCast starts now. Homework, tests, deadlines, college preparation, and stress. These are all things students will have to go through and it might be too much pressure for even the most hardest working students. Yoga club member Nicole Jensen shares her involvement with the club and how it relieves pressure for students. Thanks guys, I went on the scene to find out why yoga can help students with stress. Nicole Jensen joined the yoga club her freshman year as an escape from schoolwork and pressure from band. The club, organized by art teacher Ms. Asha and President Chloe Lasser, is meant to help students cope with stress either from school or home. Nicole finds yoga very helpful after a tough day of school and recommends it for anyone who may be going through a tough time. Well, after a long day of school and like all the stressful tests and stuff you have to take, it's nice to kind of just relax and lie down and take a breather. It's, it's like, it calms you down, it calms me down at least. And it's always so nice and relaxing. Nicole's favorite pose to exercise is called the pigeon pose because it relaxes her lower body and dead man's pose, where you lie down and concentrate on your thoughts. Chloe explains the club is a great place to meet new people and friends, but the environment can be both loud and quiet depending on the number of people. Um, it's kind of in between. Like it's very self, not self-centered, but it's very like uh, you focus on yourself a lot. So throughout, it's very quiet, but everybody is kind of just in tune with themselves. So it's not like a very busy thing. Um, no one's very talkative, but you kind of have time for yourself. I think um, we have a fairly small group, but everybody's kind of close with it. So it's not like a bunch of people that you have an option to, like some of the other clubs. But it definitely offers you a chance to meet people with the similar interests. Yoga Club is held every Monday from 4 to 5 p.m. in room B113. It's completely free and all you need to bring are flexible clothes and a mat. Next time I'm stressed, which I'm sure will be later today, <laughs> I'll make sure to check it out. Next up, we'll be at our top three things with Claire Millay and a lifestyle report with Makaya Jordan. But first, these announcements and a quick word from our sponsors. Texas Best Mini Donuts is a proud sponsor of CPHS News. Go check them out by CPMS and Free Will's Baptist Church off of Cypress Creek. Find them on Instagram at texas.mini.donuts. Smokey Moe's Barbecue, the best barbecue that money can buy. Highly supporting Cedar Park High School. Introducing the new CPHS News app, where you can rewatch segments from the Wolfcast that you missed the day of, while you can also read top story articles from the Wolfpack and never miss the final score. Don't forget to turn on notifications to keep up to date with important alerts. Download the CPHS News app today. Thanks guys. Here are the top three things that you need to know for today. First, there have been five cases of measles recorded in Texas. Three of these cases are in Northwest Harris County, one in Montgomery County, and another one in Galveston County. Four of the people suffering from the outbreak are children under two, and one woman who is around 30 years old. Montgomery hasn't had a measles outbreak since 1996 and Galveston County since 2007. Up next, the Boy Scouts of America have officially welcomed their first all-girl troop. They are now known as, Boy as Scouts BSA and they've begun to welcome girls in an effort to rebrand amid declining membership and requests from the Girl Scouts to include female members. Since Friday, thousands of girls have entered the program. Lastly, Lithuanian animal lovers have created a new app which is described as Tinder but with dogs. 
which matches up dogs in shelters with the new owners. The app, Get Pet, which, has, which was launched around a month ago, is getting hundreds of new users daily and has also set up several matches. With the app, you can swipe on dogs and you can also set up a meeting with a dog. A doggy date, if you will. That's all for today's Three Things with CPHS News. I'm Claire Mallet. Thanks, Claire. I'm here today with Maria Rico, who is a senior, and she's also one of the team captains for the girls' soccer team. So, Maria, um, what have... What, okay, so what are you looking forward to for the rest of the season, and how has the season gone so far? Um, so we've only had two games this season, and we won one and lost one, so we're kind of doing okay. But, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to just keep playing teams that are really good, because we have uh, better teams this year in our district, so... We're just, I'm just looking forward to getting closer to the team and just doing better. That's <laughs> awesome. So I understand that as team captain, you have a role in leading others, right? Mm -hmm. So what have you noticed that is a difference from playing club like you did, like you said last year, um, to this year playing on the team and being team captain? What like pros and cons have you noticed and what made you choose like playing for Cedar Park over club? Um, so just uh, school soccer just in general is just we have really good chemistry and we're all like really good friends So it's just fun playing with your friends like on the field just with good good chemistry kind of shows on the field and it'll Yeah, that's, why. that's <laughs> awesome. So um, I guess what things are you really looking forward to for the rest of this season? I understand that you guys are already um, competing like for district um, and that playoffs, you need to get first or second? Yeah. Okay. So our goal right now is just to get first or second in district so we can make playoffs and then hopefully get further in playoffs this year than we did last year. And is that how you make it to state, like through yeah, playoffs? Yeah, so we have like four rounds of playoffs and then last year we made it to fourth round and then we lost fourth round of playoffs so we were so close but hopefully this year we can make it to state. Yeah, I really yeah. hope so. So um, I guess like a couple more things would be what types of things do you guys actually like do to prepare? Like I know I talked to um, one of the girl basketball players and she was mentioning how they watch like tapes of the other teams. Mm -hmm. What kinds of things like do you guys do as a team to prepare? Um, well, first of all, we practice every single morning. From Like we're literally at the school at 6.30 every single morning, like this morning wow. too. So like we literally practice every day um, in the morning and then during the period as well. So we're, our, Training is a lot, and then also we do like our coach watches tape, and then pretty much gives us like um, like a scoop of like how the team is, and yeah. then kind of like tells us what players we need to watch, and just like how the team is and how they play, so we know during the game how they play, so we'll hopefully beat them that way. <laughs> wow, so it's definitely yeah. competitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do like. I mean, I'm sure they watch film of us too, so it's kind of both right. ways, but we pretty much know like what we're going up against. That's cool. Yeah. So um, I guess my last question would be that I understand that you're a senior, mm -hmm. and so are you going anywhere to play um, soccer? Yeah, um, I'm committed to UMHB, Heard and Baylor, and I'm going to start there next year. As a That's freshman. awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I look <laughs> forward to continuing talking to you and like seeing your journey. That's awesome. awesome. Um, if you guys happen to see Maria or anyone on the girls' soccer team, just wish them luck. I know that you guys have a game this Friday, correct? Yes, against, or it's at Pflugerville. Yes, okay. Pflugerville, what so. time is it? Uh, 7.15. Okay, awesome. So it's at 7.15. Um, make sure to go out, support. If you can't, support from home. We'll be tweeting it. Um, so thank you so much, guys. Have a great Thursday, and we'll see you next time. Well, that's all we have for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. With CPHS News, I'm Ellen Neal. And I'm Evan Vines. Remember to make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. Have a phenomenal day, Cedar Park. Hey there, Haven Pinnell here. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. And if you enjoy all things CPHS, hit subscribe. Have a great day or not, the choice is yours.